High-performance cars typically have ceramic composite brake discs rather than regular cast iron ones. Fast cars need to be as light as possible and cast iron is very heavy. Cast iron brakes also wear out and fade due to the intense heat and friction generated when braking at high speed. This ceramic material is heat resistant up to 1000 degrees Celsius. Therefore, these composite brake discs last about 60 times longer than standard cast iron discs. Ceramic composite means the ceramic material, silicon, is combined with carbon fiber for strength. The disc factory prepares the carbon fiber by mixing two ingredients, a heat molded resin and chopped pieces of extremely strong yet lightweight raw carbon fiber. Machines pour the carbon fiber into aluminium molds in the shape of the disc. The first filling station fills the mold cavity only halfway. Workers then fit a slotted belt around the mold and insert aluminium cores into the slots. These cores will form a ventilation channel in the disc ring to keep the disc from overheating. Now the mold moves on to the next filling station. It fills the remainder of the cavity with carbon fiber. A roller levels the top. Then workers close up the mold and a small press pushes down the cover to lightly compact the contents. The mold enters a large press which applies 20,000 kilograms of pressure while heating to 200 degrees Celsius. This compresses the carbon fiber further and transforms the resin powder into plastic. Once the mold has cooled down enough to be handled, workers submerge it in cold water for five to eight minutes. This cools the disc ring completely so they can remove the cores. A computer guided laser then examines the mold to make sure every last core has been removed. When they get the all clear, they open the top and bottom sections of the mold and extract the disc ring. Then smooth out the rough areas and drill tiny ventilation holes. They put the disc ring into an oven, which over the course of two days, gradually heats it up to approximately 1000 degrees Celsius. This causes a chemical change, which transforms the plastic into carbon. Next, they take a crucible and position five mounts inside. They place the disc ring on the mounts. Then in the middle, a funnel, into which they pour a ceramic material, fine silicon powder. Then they load the crucible into an oven for 24 hours. It gradually heats the disc ring to 1700 degrees Celsius, melting the silicon. Then it applies low level suction, drawing the now liquid silicon into the disc ring. This creates an exceptionally hard new material called silicon carbide. After a computer guided drill bores mounting holes, the disc ring goes into a chamber where it receives a coat of protective paint. The paint shields the carbon in the disc ring from oxygen, which is critical because at high heat, oxygen burns carbon. Treatment will extend the life of the brake disc. The paint is cured in an oven, leaving behind a white residue. A robot sands it off, then polishes the entire disc ring surface. Here's what the finished disc looks like before it's cleaned and polished. And after. Every single brake disc undergoes a meticulous inspection. This sophisticated machine takes thousands of high definition photographs of the surface, which a computer then analyzes in detail. They attach the bell to complete the brake disc. This is a circular component in the middle, which connects the disc to the vehicle. It's made of either aluminium or stainless steel and bolted into the mounting holes in the disc ring.